everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing okay today. So today we're going to be looking at the York Mini Stereo Compact System Stereo Cassette Recorder Radio Electronic Clock Timer. <laughs> I know that's, that's a long, long word, but we'll just call it a Stereo Alarm Clock Cassette Recorder. So this arrived in the post yesterday and I opened it up and it's brilliant. It works perfectly. The lights are amazing, the lights are just bright as they ever could be. Um, and I'm not sure the year on this, but I'm guessing around 1980, 1982 maybe, from the silver. Sort of science telling me slightly 70s, slightly 80s. Um, but what I liked with this machine is its like compactness. You know, it's it's really small um, and that's that's, you know, what what the manual here says. This is the original manual. See, it says there, compact. Um, just literally a mini little hi fi and it's even got AUX, which is DIN, I believe. So you could s select AUX and you could play anything from um, the back, like, I don't know, for example, anything from your iPod or your phone, anything like Bluetooth adapter, anything like that. Um, but back in the day, obviously, you wouldn't have had Bluetooth. But yeah, so you could do that. Um, what I also liked with this was the the sensor that it's got. It's got an auto dimmer sensor. So if I just bring the camera a bit closer. So see this auto dimmer sensor. What this basically does is if you've got a bright lit area or a bright lit room, what it will do is when the light shines on this sensor, it will make this clock really bright so our eyes can see it and it's not dim. But when it's dark in the room or your area, this clock will go dim. That's then it's not bright on our eyes. So if you were in bed, which this is what it's mostly to do with, is, is bedtime and sleeping. You can wake up to the radio, you can wake up to a buzzer. That's what it's supposed to be. Um, that's why it's a, an alarm clock sort of thing. Um, so when we're in bed and it's a bit too bright, this will be dim to help our eyes um, and not be too bright for us. Um, but in daylight, like it is now, you know, we need to see that because it's it's so bright in here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll plug it in and I'll demonstrate that now. OK, so see the clock now? See how bright that is? But if it was dark, let me just put my finger over it. See how dim that goes? Can you see that? That's going really dim. Let go, it's bright. Dim. Bright. See how dim that goes? So that is really cool. And then on the top here is a sensor touch snooze slash sleep off button. That's not actually a, a, a button. I call it a button, but it's it's not really. When you hold that down or sort of touch it, that will snooze your alarm. So if you think, oh, I don't want to get up yet. I just want to snooze for a little bit longer. You can actually just slightly touch that and that will put it into snooze mode. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, this is a really cool machine. And the actual sound on it is brilliant. It's got a tone control and it's got a really nice sound. Do really like it. Um, so what I'm doing today is I'm just going to demonstrate for a little bit how it is now. And then what I need to do is it needs a good clean. So the buttons need a clean. Um, if I can show you. See, that might just be age, so I might not be no, I might not be able to clean that, but give it a good clean. All these buttons function. Um, you know, there's a dot there and mark there, and it just needs it just needs a clean. Um, so that's what we're gonna do, and then I'll demonstrate it again afterwards. Ooh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna work on the heads and you know the inside of the uh, mechanism first, cleaning it. So you want a piece of tissue and some tape head cleaner, some Q-tips. Yeah, that's what you're gonna need. Okay, so you're gonna wanna you know just quickly squirt a little bit on there like that, right? And then you wanna go in to the mechanism like that and then just work on the heads but you'll want to go left to right don't go up and down because i believe that may damage the heads but you'll want to do that then do that and then get the machine going and just gently put it on the wheel like that while it's spinning and it should clean the wheel but i'm gonna get a camera angle here that hopefully will work there you go so, let's do this. Okay, so I've got the flash on the camera going, so it's a bit more brighter in here. So, let's get our things ready. Can I get to it like this? Yeah, I can. Right, okay. Just making sure. Okay, right. Just get a little bit on there. Like that, make sure it's wet. And then... Quickly, otherwise it'd disappear. Left, left to right, like that. I mean, sometimes I have gone up and down before by accident, and it hasn't damaged it, but I don't really recommend doing it from what I've heard. I'm not a complete expert. I don't do repairs really, but I I know the standard basic stuff. Uh, um let's see if some dirt has come off on that. Hmm not a lot, but maybe the head's alright, I don't know. But we will go again. Mm, slight dirt came off, but you probably won't see that on the camera. So I won't show you that, but yeah. Um, that looks to be alright. Uh, let's do the record head next. Or, yeah, that head there. So, put that one to one side, so I know that that's the one I've just used. Oh yeah, you can see there, actually, you might be able to see that on the camera, there you go. See how it's white, but then it becomes slightly yellowish brown? That's the dirt, that's the dirt that you don't want on there, because that will ruin it. Even if I'm not recording on here, don't really want that on there. Um, I just, I just don't. Because <laughs> um, I was looking at that thinking, oh my god, have I got enough? Um, isopropyl alcohol, which is what I'm putting on cotton, on these cotton buds, by the way, I didn't tell you, but this is isopropyl alcohol. Um, that's what you'll need. But yeah. So just keep putting pressure on that while you're... <clears throat> right, so the machine is on. Okay, so that's play, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's turning. Right, what we need is engage play. Right, put a bit of that on there. Right, you want to be careful because the cotton bug can sometimes get stuck to that wheel. See how it's becoming wet? But obviously the reason why you want this machine on while you're doing this is because it makes it easier for cleaning the wheel because the wheel's turning round, obviously. Turning it yourself, I don't know. Sometimes you can do that, but it's a really long process. And 
and let go. Leave. Right. So, not a lot of dirt. Bit of dirt, see? Nice, okay. So, as you can see, that is nice and clean now. Lovely. Right, that is nice. Proud about that. So, yeah, that's good. So, what we now need to do is just give the rest of it a good clean. Um, what we're going to do as well is I'm going to, hopefully, can these be pulled off? <clears throat> nah, it doesn't look it. Okay, these don't look like they can be pulled off. But what we need to do is, because of these controls and get all scratchy and dirty, right, and dusty, they can... Uh, you can just hear all the time through the uh, headphones and the um, volume and speakers. Um, so we're going to spray some of this in there. Deoxit. Um, and as it says up there, cleaner audio, clean, clearer video, reliable data, right? And this will scratch some of it in there just a little bit, not too much, and this will... Clean it. Clean that dust away. Like that, right? So just quickly. Like that, just make sure it doesn't ruin the front. Then we're gonna work at it. Like that, just keep twisting it around. Okay. Right, what's next? So the tape count I don't need doing, that's fine. Um, we've done the mechanism, we've done all the controls, we've done these controls. Uh, yeah, I've got to clean, I've got to clean this. Oops. <laughs> that's just fell off. <laughs> okay, so I've got to clean that, obviously. Um, put the screws back on that. What I'll do, put the screws back on there. Right, there you go. So I've got to clean that, give it a good clean. Fingers and that be on there. And then we'll give the rest of it a good clean. Okay, so this is what I use. Any sort of window cleaner, window lean, you know, and then it says streak free formula. Lifts away grease and grime from all glass surfaces. But this is brilliant. Yeah, it's window cleaner, but it cleans hi-fi equipment and all that sort of stuff brilliantly. Okay, so here we have it all set up. It's all finished now and I've done what I needed to do. And we're going to go over the uh, features. So here I have a cassette. That I recorded a while ago. I'm gonna put it in there, place it in, and then just switch it over to tape and play. Radio lights come on. My tape count is working perfectly. There we go.
So there you go, that's the tape plane. Sounds perfect. Just what I wanted. Um, so then if we go to radio. Uh, there we go. And this has actually got a really good um, reception on this. Sounds brilliant. Invincibles at Lords tomorrow. The women's teams start at... Yeah. Fingers crossed. Obviously, you've got that fantastic American. All the um, FM stereo that I'm getting. Incredible, and I, I think it's honestly only helped me. Um, Brilliant. It's actually receiving add, stuff add really well. Skills, little uh, ways of playing, just little nuances that certain countries play different than England. And I think it really um, helps me to become like more of an artist. So then let's go over the other features. So see this clock here. Currently that means PM. See PM. That's PM. And then the wake, there's no dot there. But when we hold in the alarm button, that's when our alarm will go off in an hour's time. If you let go of the alarm button, that will show you the time that it is currently now. So hold down the alarm. In an hour's time that alarm will go off. I set it to buzzer which means it will um, send off a really loud buzzing sound, um, which I will demonstrate, but in an hour's time I will do that. Um, and yeah, that is currently the time now. That is when the alarm will go off. And to set your alarm, you just hold that down, and then you hold these down, and that will control how you know the minutes and the hours work. Fast means it goes... It changes really fast. Slow means it changes slow. So if you're going too fast, you just press slow and it will change that to four or five really slowly and then that will go really quick. Um, so it's, it's really, really cool machine and sounds amazing for, you know, those those small little speakers. And it is stereo. It's a stereo machine, which is uh, pretty, pretty dang cool. You don't see many like that. Um, and yeah, so... In an hour's time, I will show that alarm going off. And in order to do that, you must have your... I'm not going to go in too much, but you must have your control set to buzz for buzzer. And then this to auto. See, now it says PM and wake, meaning it's going to wake up on that time. And then... If you want to wake up to radio, just slide it to radio. But I prefer the buzzer. But yeah. So, in an hour's time, I'll show you that. Okay, so currently it is 7.23pm. And our alarm is set for 7.24. Now all we got to do is just wait till 7.24 to arrive. And then the buzzer should start buzzing because we've got pm lit and we've got wake lit so this should be correct and it hopefully should buzz so just pretend you know you're in bed it's you know i know it says pm but just pretend that there you go there you go that's your alarm So that's enough to wake you up in the morning. <laughs> and then all you do to stop it is you press off. Or you can press the snooze button, which is a sensor touch. Just sense it. There you go. It just senses your finger like that. And then I put that into snooze. And I think it lasts for about eight minutes before it comes back around to buzzing. So yeah. So that's that's the York stereo cassette recorder with alarm clock radio. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and looking at this cool machine and its awesome features. And I will join you guys in the next one. See you guys soon. Bye.